Dig festival is the password. Oh, wow. Ah! Are you sure about that? Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Rat channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching a new anime, Combatants Will Be Dispatched. Um, from the gist of what I'm gathering from this thing, uh, this evil organization um, company has decided to go to outer space to further their influence or their reach and basically for a company to get more money. And uh, they just decide on who to send out there through... Uh, Lots by rolling dice, I guess, and or whatnot. And the guy they send out to uh, the first planet he goes out to basically tries to make a name for himself by doing evil deeds because they're an evil organization. He has to do things that are bad too to gain popularity or notoriety in the organization and you know reach higher ranks in the organization. So the planet already has, you know, its own evil organization on it, as per usual, you know, probably like in any planet with any form of life, you know, you've got the good guys, the bad guys, whatnot. His goal here is to scrub away the bad guys on this planet so that they're the top dog. The bad guys on this planet have probably already established themselves for quite some time, I'm assuming, so him getting rid of them would kind of make him look like the good guy. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Um, there's also, besides him, there's a female character. Uh, I think she's basically like an AI that tags along with him that the company gave him to help him along the way. We'll see what kind of hijinks this brings. I think the same company that created Overly Cautious Hero is the one that's doing this. Uh, so... Expect the same kind of artwork. I'm already seeing an image on screen that kind of reminds me of it. So, uh, this is going to be a lighthearted anime. Nothing really serious, but uh, it should be interesting, nonetheless. So, with that being said, though, let's get into this anime reaction and see exactly how things progress. Let's see you there. Alright, everybody, here we go. Agent 6, not to be confused with 007. See, your Schwartz is as big as mine. Oh, wow. Already starting off with the lewdness. A silly cosplay. Do you dress like anime girls because you're anime girls? Whoa, that's a genuinely shocking fact. Well, look at that behind. Oh, so one of them is ice and then fire. Oh. <laughs> Calling them out. This guy thinks that he's going to be some big shot and get everything he wants and has dreamed of in life. Throws his arms stiff. Some kind of teleporter? Oh, wait. Is this what he she makes the uh, AI from that goes with him? Okay, it is teleportation. Oh, so she's sitting behind the teleportation device. What you say? Wow. I bet that comes into play later in the series where she actually blows herself up to save them or to save him. Well, this girl doesn't pull back any punches, does she? Oh. So, Earth is actually running out of resources and that's the big reason why they're going out. Maybe not so much money. Oh, so she has a little bit of a crush on him. She's like a he's like a childhood friend to her. Or is she just coaxing his ego to get him to do what she wants. Okay, so they just didn't happen to choose him. They actually know him. Cause the synopsis said they threw dice and picked him. It's an anime only, because I I'm pretty sure there's like a novel or manga, but really not I really don't know if she's Stroking his ego if this is all true. I'm going in for the kill! 
And denied. Well, she kind of wants to kiss, though, huh? But she's got to act strong in front of her others, her peers. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Okay, so they just picked him by a lot. <laughs> Probably like 10%. So they tried it once, and they succeeded, so here we go. Because if there was a chance for failure, they might not be able to do it. But, like, they're still doing it, even though they know there still might be a chance of failure. Alright, that was kind of, uh, something else, eh? Oh, this kind of looks like, a uh, No Game No Life entrance. When the guy from there just threw them on the plane, and they just fell. Yeah. That's it? Fuck, guys, you're fucking useless. Don't you have, like, combat functionalities? Does she have a parachute, too? Oh, no. So, if she were just to fall on the ground, she would have exploded and everything would have been decimated. Alright, so there's a city right in front of them. How convenient. <laughs> wow. He's just going all in. What? Why did they do that before he teleported? Wouldn't that have been safer? What if he needed it right then? This dude just left the backpack. Evil points. There's a point system for being evil. Oh, is the evil points like money? <laughs> <laughs> Calling him out because that's probably what he does do. Uses them at like brothels or strippers or whatnot. Just to cop a feel or to see some panties. Yo, Earthlight doesn't mean that the same creatures are going to exist. Yeah, she's sniping them off. Oh, I thought she was. Combat powers of a normal girl her age. So she's essentially useless, like he said? I thought she was a high-tech weapons expert or something. <laughs> How in the world did this dude write that? Magic. His hands were holding it back. Well, we're here to conquer your planet, so... Can they understand each other? Oh, is the robot girl going to analyze her voice pattern? The nano machine's probably helping him understand her. So she does have her obvious uses. Hey, don't speak out loud like that. Right? Yeah, we left our, our luggage back there somewhere. Don't! I'm not sure why, but okay. Yeah, well, I don't like to brag or anything. No, oh, what's this little evil look about? Is this the other evil organization? I'm wondering. Why are all of our guards old, haggard looking dudes? A huge demon beast. Nice one! Oh well, Mega Ming. <laughs> they do not care. <laughs> this guy just wants to pounce on her. <laughs> There's no other thoughts running through his head right now. Okay, so they're not the evil, evil organization. I wonder if that's why there's just old men, because all the other, like, the younger men have already been killed off by the Demon Lord and his army. For taken under their, like, for slavery. You know, Snow's pretty mad now, <laughs> because of the way they acted in front of her. Forgive his ignorance, but he'll be of use to you. Alright, bro, calm down. <laughs> I need your body to fight, but not for anything else. just a machine right she's happy because she's gonna get recognition yeah she just wants more fame and money from this I wonder how simple the words are to this rain or something dig festival is the password now this guy's a little demented ah why does this girl look so devilish right now Nah, debatable. I think Santa's beard is a bit bigger than his. Because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> this is all contingent on the fact that everybody uses the same kind of language, too. Like, just because he called it a dick festival, that would mean that this planet's people refer to the same organ as Earth. They might call it something else. I think she might actually be in love with the princess. Oh, so is she partially responsible for him calling it Dick Festival? 
But they weren't even there. So he's part of the kingdom's army now. Probably one of the higher ups already. Okay. So she actually works under him now. Oh. Was she? So she took responsibility so they demoted her over that? Oh, she did get demoted. Failure. Oh, man. Alice is laying it on her hardcore. You know, take these two scoops and shut the hell up. What the world? Okay, is that the demon army? So the dice were loaded only for them. To Supreme Leader. Yeah, I think she's really in love with him. Alright everybody, so a little bit of a recap of the episode. Since this is the first episode, there's not a whole lot to go on. But, it so far is exactly what Cautious Hero was. Just humor, just like lighthearted, whimsical, like... Doesn't take itself serious. Our main character, Agent 6, is... A pervert um, and all the females pretty much uh, talk down to him and uh, basically bring out the fact that he is like uh, Alice pretty much talking crap to him the whole time telling him you know he's basically stupid that she doesn't understand why they sent him you know basically that he's useless that And calling him out for, like, you know, when, uh, I guess she said, he said she was a child or trash or something to that effect. And she was like, go, I'm not going to help you unless you take that back. And, um, then we have, like, the other characters, like Snow, who, she basically went out of her way to say, you know, I want to gain fame and money and I will use you for that end so I will take all the credit for what you do and since he basically made the password dick festival she took on that responsibility and apparently she was supposed to be killed for that but because she was a high-ranking official you know they she just got demoted and she now works for for Agent Six and Alice, basically. So, uh, at the end of the episode, I'm pretty sure that the huge rock creatures and the other creatures that were mixed with them were part of the Demon Lord's army. So, next episode, we will probably see a little bit of that going on. You know, how uh, he handles them. We're also probably going to get uh, a little more story into. The relationship between um, one of the girls, I can't remember if they were named, that were also part of the original group, uh, the blue-haired one, uh, that has the ice powers. I think she's in love with Agent 6. So, they said that if he does this and manages to take over the planet, he'll be considered, you know, the supreme ruler, the leader. Um, so, I'm not who, sure who the current leader is. It kind of gave off the vibe that they were the original, like, people to set everything in motion. And one of them's the Supreme Leader. Or maybe there's another party we're unaware of right now that they haven't shown yet. But, uh, this group of people, these four individuals, the two girls, the teleporter girl, and Agent Six all started this. Um... It'll take me a little bit to figure out names. I'm sure they gave the names to the other girls. So I'll write all that down and get to that. But uh, let me know what y'all thought of the first episode. Did it give you... Um, oh, and the Konosuba uh, reference was kind of funny. But did it give you Cautious Hero vibes or any other anime you've seen? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you all next time.